Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Nolan, and today we're going to be playing a Dark Dragon. This is the VIP version, and it's go on sale for free inside of the Play Store for the next four days on this current date. So, yeah. Down to Google Play, we're going to be trying it out, seeing how it is. Without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, I expect that to be a whole paragraph. You guys can pause and read that if you want to. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright. This is the Dark Dragon Island. For the time being, I should rest. Oh, so we just got random actions we had to do. <laughs> I know that sound. That's the sound of, um, that's the sound from, like, what was it? RPG Maker is commonly used. It's an old hut. Just find a random hut out of nowhere. Alright, so we're on a dark island. Fire is dead. So we have a whole bunch of stuff we can build. And craft and buy. Who would you buy from is the real question I should be asking. I know the room is cold. Calm down. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to do anything with him. Oh. People are coming to the village. Okay, so now the stores are here. The wood is running out. So this is what we can build right now, but we need wood and stuff. <laughs> How much wood do we have? Oh, no, that's storage. When you say stores, I'm just thinking of actual shops that I can enter. <laughs> Alright, let's go back home. Whoops. Okay, save my progress. <laughs> okay, so let's build a... Well, never mind. We're not building a hut. Build a trap. Traps contain. I'm going to guess nothing. Considering I don't even think we've placed down the trap yet. Oh, that's in the forest. Okay, never mind. So as soon as you make it, it goes into the forest. We're gonna need a lot of wood. Zero wood per second. Hmm. 
So we could hire like workers for us. Interesting. This does take a while though. If you can't tell by now, this is from what I see, this is mostly like text based. Like a text based. I wouldn't even say survival because you're not like searching for food and stuff like that. Dude, just seeing smokehouse just make make me hungry as hell now. I want something to eat too. <laughs> Should I probably eat just right after this? Ah. Oh. Okay, hold up. Let's go do that. Maybe that gave us more wood. Oh. We have an event. Okay, so random events happen. Through the walls. Where you can hear. Can't tell what they're up to. Okay. So I can carry more wood now. So how much would that give me? Okay, so that just gives me a whole bunch over time as it goes. So I want to go back and forth between everything at this point. Like keep my fire going and stuff like that then I want to go back okay so I would just want to basically manage things I'm gonna build another trap Alright, I get it. Buy a compass. What is this one then? Alright, so we have... We almost have enough. Okay, so we got teeth and meat. And bits of meat. Oh, damn. Somebody got... Some animal got tore the fuck up by the trap. Noted... Wait, so is this just give me wood over time now? Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, okay, so my worker is doing something right now. But it's like every 10 seconds. It's kind of slow, but you know, we're actually helping them. So I'm wondering if it gives you wood like offline. That'd be something to witness. Alright, there we go. Okay. Builder says there are wanderers and they can work as well. So we could find people who wander around? Okay. Noted. Did 
We haven't gotten any of these, so we might as well build the hut. Or as we get around. Okay, noted. So now we have a village going on. So I'm guessing that creates workers, well, more workers to come in. So that's kind of cool. Ah. So we got the noise event again. Sooner or later, that's probably going to turn into something. Because most games that do that, the more you actually interact with the same event, the more different things that start to happen. Yeah, I played a lot of games like, kind of like that in a way. Um, the visitor. Oh, well, no, Grandma's not putting me in the oven. Damn it, I, I refuse. <laughs> the joke only works if you actually watch the movie The Visitor. Or Visitor. Or The Visit. Whichever one it was. I think it was The Visit. I got people living here now. Yes, gather me wood. Okay. So obviously this is like early on, you gotta collect resources and stuff. To be honest, it's interesting in my opinion. Especially since I'm interacting with so many events and actually learning the game right now. What the hell is this? Oh, so I'm gonna sit here and guess that VIP doesn't save you from the shitty ads. The shitty 30 second ads, I might add. You know? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, oh, look, I have a unique tool for being VIP. Nope. It's just a big fuck you, apparently. <laughs> cool. I always wanted that, you know? It's always been pretty damn cool to get that. If I can get fur, I'm just watching a 30 second ad, which should be shorter when somebody has VIP, or it shouldn't be any at all where you have a VIP version. But you know, can't tell me. On a fur, I would need to watch two ads. Yeah. It's a step up. So I think if I go back and forth, I start to run into an event, right? Nah, is it as I progress? Oh, nope. That is exactly how you get it. Visit of the mind reader. I can read the mind of a person. Yes. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Everything was all good until I saw that. So now I want to build more traps. Now that I have nine, I have a bigger chance of getting these resources. There we go. Perfect. So I would say having at least 10 of these are fine. That's fine. Okay, right, now we got four workers. Now the next thing you'll want to work on is getting more huts, for sure. Forgot that I get this last trap. Okay. And plus, if you build more cards, 
you get more wood a lot faster still. Ah, uh, so it's basically like a village building game for sure. With probably a little bit more. Seems like it's kind of story driven by like events. Let's see if we can get another event. We get this. Thank you. Okay, apparently we're not gonna oh, never mind. <laughs> mm. I mean I don't trust her either. Plus, I don't have that much fur, so I'm sorry. I have to turn you away off that one. You you keep your filthy hands off my fur. I always like these kind of kind of games. They're like slow paced and soothing as hell. They're just like time consumers. Kind of sucks that. Some of them have like really long ass cooldowns, but you know. I guess that's to keep you from progressing too fast. Even though you can still build your way to progressing like really fast. I'm gonna do that just in case. I know I said I probably want to work on the huts right now, but. Yeah, that's a lot faster. Oh, it started to speed up after a while, I think. Or either I just, my eyes are playing tricks on me. I think I want to work my way through for like 10 cards, then I'll go for huts. Just to speed up the progress. Just because the villagers do pick, will get the resources kind of slow. Compared to me just pushing this and just getting a whole bunch. Yeah, it seems like every time I come back, I'm gonna have like enough just just for another card. Yeah, that was exactly enough. Ah, if only they didn't pick stuff, we could we could have seen how much we get. Oh. Track them. Wait, oh, he destroyed our traps. What douche? Whatever it is, this okay, so we can we have a chance to lose resources. God damn it, it's probably the dragon, if anything. <laughs> All right, so you have a risk of losing like material. That's not good. That's going to really kind of hurt you on resources, especially if it's something like really costing. Ah, I need one more trap. Come on. 
They have got to put those traps back. There we go. Because if we don't put those traps back, then we're just going to start making less. And that was like the perfect amount to start making the rest of the resources. Alright, I need you to go all the way around so I can get one more. Then I'll start building my huts. Oh, that's max. Ten is the max you can go. Alright, so what's the max cap for this? Want a hut? You get a hut. How much does the next hut cost? Okay. Turn up my traps. Jerks. Don't mess with somebody else's traps. Actually, we have enough. Ah, oh, we have enough to actually build this. So let's go ahead and try to build that now. We have 12. I'm going to wait for the population to actually fill up. God damn it. Okay, so it only destroyed one of our traps this time. So you get... So we have a lodge now. So now we can get hunters. But that costs meat per second, so we gotta keep traps out. Alright, so now we have nine people helping us. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got seven, actually. Oh, so I'll be gaining, I'll be losing meat, though. Ah, I see. So I would be losing from here. Noted. Noted, noted, noted. So now we got 20 of those. Hey, once you start getting everything going, it's kind of like really damn fun. Hold up. So what do we need next? Trading post? Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of resources. I guess I'll skip that first and make this. There's also a training cap I can make, but that requires something called redstone. I was say I wanted to see the max. But, huh. I think we should leave it off right there. That's pretty much the gameplay for now. You just ran in, you just build your own village and run into random events. I 
Uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably other gameplay in it. More than likely. But I'm going to leave that for you guys to explore. To be honest. Why sit here working on my village? I don't need to make like a whole hour video or something. <laughs> make sure to pay attention to the text too. Because you never know what could be going on. Dude, you keep coming after my fur. You're going to catch these hands. But yeah. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Build your huts. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.